In this Fallout 4 episode, I'm going to show you how to get your first set of power armor fast. Now, we're here at Sanctuary Hills, right here on the map. You came out of Vault 111 there, and this is your main home base, if you choose. But right here is where we're going to be heading to get the first suit of power armor. This is the bridge, the only bridge leaving Sanctuary Hills. Now, as a low-level character, fresh out of the vault, you want to stay out of the water. We do not have any Rad Away or Rad X, so getting into the water is a big no right now. So we're just going to make our way along this lake. Now, the only reason I didn't choose the opposite side and cross over the bridge is I know from previous playthroughs that there's a whole gang of raiders there and all we have is a little 10 millimeter pistol and a tire iron and that's not enough so we'll just slowly make our way around the lake now we will have to just touch into the water a little bit but not enough to get a huge amount of rads and this water is highly irradiated okay so here we'll swing north Boom. <laughs> you get plus 10 rads and get out of there. So I got just a little dip in there. Now we're looking for, looks like the icon on the map looks like three little cars stacked up like a junkyard. That's the area we're looking for. We're going to pass right by it on the way to the power armor. And this is tough, sorry. And you can't get over. Um, let me just go around. A power armor core costs about 500 caps. And right now you are poor as dirt. So we're going to stop in at this location first and pick up a fusion core. Power armor core, fusion core, fusion core. And that's where Sanctuary Hills was. So we're just continuing along here. Okay. And just keep that junkyard image there the three cars and we're almost there over the hill and you can see sort of in the distance to the right looks like the outline of a radar dish that's the olivia base okay robotics disposal ground the robot is out of commission right now you can fire him up and then when you're a higher level kill him so you're looking for this trunk this green trunk pick up the fusion core you can head into the building here find out a little bit more about uh, that giant robot there and when he starts up he won't interfere with you don't interfere with him if you want to kill him and get his core go for it okay so right across this road and just down the hill there's a crashed vertebrate and you can see almost straight ahead is your suit of power armor now it's going to be a low level the lowest a t45 set which is that rad stag and it does not come with a fusion core. So good thing we have one. So we'll just go ahead and everything is at its um, no need for repairing anything on this set. There goes our power armor core. Hop inside and we're good to go. Okay, let me just check the stats so I can show you the pieces. 460, 310, and 750 radiation resistance. Very important. There, If you've played Fallout 76, you know that there aren't huge radiation irradiated areas on that map. This will change your mind in Fallout 4 because there is the glowing sea, which is completely irradiated by a direct hit from a nuclear bomb. Now, this is what it looks like, T45. Now, one thing you'll know is that when you get out there is no option to collect your power armor unless you're in it or leave it somewhere you cannot put it on your person like you can in fallout 76 you can't pick it up and store it on your person so the best place to do is go back to your map let me just do a quick save here nope we're gonna go to the map go to the map and fast travel does not cost anything head back to sanctuary and leave it there. The reason I'm picking Sanctuary is it has a power armor repair station, power armor frame, sorry, repair station, just to our left, right there. So we can just leave it here. We can also do our repairs. Sometimes if you're too close to it, it won't let you exit the power armor. So just back up a little bit. There we go. 
and I'm not sure if I've actually claimed this area. This is what one of the workshop benches looks like. Uh, if you've not claimed the area where you can build, you have to find one of these workshop benches. And once you do, it'll tell you you can build and live here. And there's also a couple other benches, a weapons bench, armor's bench. So all you have to do now is click craft and you go in the menu and you can see all of the pieces off that suit were all in full health. So there you go. Uh, how to get your first suit of power armor fast. And also, it'll show you when you go to your map where you've left one. Now, if you've had multiple, if you have multiple suits, it may not show all of them. So try to remember where you've left them. So because this is the first suit, it's showing me where I've left it. Because like I said, you can't collect it. So, so thanks so very much for watching. And I'll see you out in the Commonwealth.